you want to manage your WordPress websites even faster with the main WP dashboard, now you can. With the WordPress toolbar, also known as the admin bar, this is this little bar on the top here, and you get now up to 11 main WP components and can manage your websites from here. You can tweak settings, you can install plugins, bulk install, you can manage your updates, start update actions, and a lot more stuff, all with my new plugin called Toolbar Extras for main WP dashboard. And now let's jump right into it. Hi, my name is David Decker from DeckerWeb. I am the developer of Toolbar Extras, an awesome plugin for WordPress with over 14,000 active installations already. And it now got its newest add-on called Toolbar Extras for main WP. And this is that one here. It is available for free on WordPress.org in the plugin repository. This is the plugin page here in the repository. And now we want to look at the features of this add-on, what it does. So follow me in this local test install. This is a local test install consisting of a vanilla WordPress install with the main WP dashboard, that is a free plugin, also on the plugin directory, and this main WP dashboard is your management plugin and will become your management hub. And this WordPress install is your management install, and from that install you are managing, controlling your normal, regular websites. You can start updates, like that one, you can uh, sync the child sites, start the model from the toolbar, you can update everything from the toolbar, start these actions, you have access to the main WP dashboard and to the wizard steps, and you can also uh, set the resources, the external resources, these will deactivate it here. We will just reactivate them to have the default appearance of Toolbar Extras. But as you can see, you can customize a lot of stuff in Toolbar Extras and especially also in the main WP add-on of Toolbar Extras. So now you see the resources or also the documentation, Facebook group support channels from the main WP makers. This is a really great stuff, but it is optional. You can deactivate it, as you saw. Here you can add new content, bulk install, teams, plugins, uh, users, file uploaders, and all this kind of stuff. You can add new content, bulk add pages or posts uh, in WordPress and manage and um, add those on the child sites you are managing. You can bulk install plugins on your child sites, the same for teams, the same for users. And of course, as you know from Toolbar Extras already, it has built-in extension support for free extensions of main WP and for a lot of premium extensions already. So it's 10 free extensions already, also from third-party developers and from official main WP and also 20 premium extensions already supported and integrated from official main WP. And also the settings here get quick jump links. You can write, jump into the settings of the main WP dashboard and also quick jump to the toolbar settings tab for main WP. And you can customize these 11 components. You can you can disable or enable them. You can change the icon of a component and you can change the label text and also the priority. The priority means the position. A lower priority means more on the left side of the toolbar and a higher priority 
means more to the right side of the toolbar. So you have a, a lot of stuff here to set up. And for the, for the websites component, this is a special component because it is like the heart of the main WP dashboard and also it's the heart of the toolbar add-on for main WP. Here I have uh, for testing purposes two child sites uh, set up. These are also local child sites, local installs on my computer. And I could jump right into the settings of this specific child site in the main WP dashboard. I can open the WP admin of this specific website uh, in a new browser tab. And I can also visit this specific website on the front end in a specific browser tab. And if I have the extension for activity logs enabled and set up properly, I can also directly jump to the activity logs from this specific website. And these uh, will be loaded within your main WP dashboard. Uh, we let load it in the background, for example, here. So this is really convenient and comes in really handy. Then you have also, beyond the whole extensions, they have also documentation here. You have the settings um, and server info. This is mostly for your main WP dashboard install, but this has also a child site server info and also integrated the new site health status of WordPress. So I forgot something, so jump, jumping back to the websites component. Here um, you can optionally disable this child site listing. So if you maybe have 100 or 200 of child sites, then you will have a very long list going up to the bottom here. And this is this would be not convenient in this case. So you can disable that if you want. Uh, you can also disable the group listing. These groups uh, are set up by yourself in your main WP install. And uh, you can name these whatever you want and these will appear here. And you can group your child sites into different groups. And there are also statuses. Uh, these statuses are available from main WP by default, online, offline, disconnected, and available updated. And you can filter your child sites for these four different statuses. So that's uh, about the components. You get also quick jump links in the regular main WP admin menu. And you get a, a filter link. What that is, it just filters all main WP plugins that are installed and active or inactive on this WordPress uh, install, installation. So you have a quick overview which main WP plugin you have installed. This works for official a main WP dashboard plugin for official free add-ons, for official premium extensions, and for third-party extensions as well. So you can see on this test install, I have 42 main WP related plugins, and this is a lot. But this is for was for testing purposes. A lot of uh, these extensions are not active but are counted, so I have them in the overview. This could be very helpful and important. It's a little additional bonus setting, of course. Um, you can also leverage um, the other functionality of toolbar extras. You can always jump from the site group toolbar settings to all settings tabs of toolbar extras. And for example, in the development tab, you can uh, tweak the color of the, the background color of the toolbar at the top. So it's set to the main WP green. This is here on the palette. And you could change to any color you want. And also the label here. This is that one here. And also the icon. This one here. So and I want to show you. Um, let's go here. It's way easier to the dashboard options. 
if you want to have this setup that you are that you can see here i highly recommend to hide uh, to set this option to yes that means the main w footer will be hidden so the, the black footer bar from main wp will be hidden because you now have all in the toolbar and show main wp custom menu is set to no so then the additional main wp branded admin menu will not be enabled so this makes total sense because now you have all in the toolbar and you have a lot more and it's dynamic because it supports active extensions it has uh, resources external resources it has dynamic website listing group listing all the stuff you won't have in the in the footer bar also the um, access to the setup wizard steps these are also not in in the admin menu and also not in the footer bar so the toolbar extras add-on for main wp does a lot more and it wants to help you so you save a lot of mouse travel because you only travel with your mouse uh, here on the top and when hovering it just uh, toggles the menu so you save a click and this saves a lot of time uh, calculated over daily tasks or uh, even weekly tasks and it's a lot more streamlined it's a known interface you are already familiar with so this whole thing makes a lot of sense. Again, this add-on is free of charge on the WordPress plugin directory. It requires the base plugin toolbar extras as well. And I have another video for it uh, for the installing. Uh, you can find this also in the installation instructions. I have a special install and setup video where I show you how easy it is to install all the required plugins to get a setup like this. It's really easy and I invite you to try it out. So I am now ready with this video. Uh, I am done and I thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos for plugins, screencasts and whatever about WordPress for site builders and please give this video here a thumbs up if you like it and share it and spread the word about it. I would really like it. You can also give me a 5 star review if you uh, love this add-on, if you like it and use it already. I'm really thankful for it. So thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.